and today it's a completely different uh, style of video that I, I would like to do uh, you guys know I like to make videos of you know doing stuff on the car uh, or the truck but I think this is really important because if you are new to the channel I'll just give you a, a rundown right this is my 2017 Chevy Colorado I had this truck since it was brand spank new <clears throat> so that it has been five years actually it was five years last June a couple of things that I, I did to the truck and mainly is I put a six inch lift kit on it uh, a 20 by 12 wheels with with 33 tires, traction bars, tall mirrors, and a bunch of stuff, custom headlight, custom grill. Just wanna let you know if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe. Uh, I try to help a lot of people with DIY stuff, and also I show you guys a little bit of my garage. I'm glad to report it's coming along. I put the cabinets on, a video coming soon about that. So I'm gonna give you tips, ideas of how to do your garage if you have a small space like I do. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. I show you guys that I was having the famous Colorado shutting. For some reason, GM kind of screw up with this transmission. Some people have before, some people don't have at all. So it's really hard to say it's gonna happen. You start to have a shutter on your transmission. Feels like your transmission, it's about to change gears, but it's not actually, and it has a lot of vibration on. It's really hard to explain how that goes, but that's more or less what happened, right? As I said, I got my truck brand spank new i think i put a lift kit on it when i had twenty thousand miles on it so i have about twenty five thousand miles twenty six thousand miles with the lift on since the beginning of this journey with this truck i didn't have a single issue but all of a sudden i start to feeling the famous vibration shutter whatever you want to call on the colorado transmission I think it took me a while to realize that it was that bad until I had to drive a long distance. So one Saturday and I had to drive an hour and a half down to South Jersey and I started noticing this thing. It was weird because it feels like the, the truck wants to shift but at the same time it doesn't and you feel like a vibration especially on low RPMs like under 2000 RPMs. Alright, I felt that uh, and I was like, I think I know what it is because I'm pretty involved with the Colorado comments. You know, I have a bunch of you know, YouTube videos on Colorado's. So I made an executive decision to take to the dealer. Bye bye. <laughs> Which happened last Friday. Some trucks have uh, warranties up to 60,000 miles or five years. Uh, some people buy extended warranties. Um, I don't believe in that. Uh, the reason why I don't buy extended warranties is because let's say I bought the extended warranty back in 2017, between three and five grand, I never use it. Never, never use it. Anything I did, I didn't even need it. Let's say I take this, let's call five grand, and I put an investment, right? Or I put on a savings account just for emergency. I do my own warranty. You see that I spent less than the warranty or extended warranty was the, on the fixing. So I believe you can do your own warranty and the reason why it's because sometimes you buy extended warranty but a bunch of things are not covered on. Damn. So that's my reason why I don't have an extended warranty. So my truck was under warranty until 60,000 miles or five years. So which I, I passed the five years mark. So it wasn't under warranty anymore. So the good thing for you is Chevy is pretty aware of this issue. So when you take to the dealer, just explain what it is. That's what I did. Uh, and they're going to come up with the solution the Chevy uh, tell them to do. So I did a bunch of research on the internet. I see like I want to see how much people pay for it. So it's hard to figure out because as I said, some trucks are under warranty. Some people who <laughs> probably pay for it are pretty pissed on it and they don't want to share that experience or how much they pay for, it, which is not my case. I have here how much I paid for it. And the reason why I make this video is to make you aware that it's fixable as long as you don't drive that much with uh, I mean, you can drive that much with that shutter thing, but it's not guaranteed that you might need a, a torque converter or something else or even the transmission replaced. So my device for you is if you feel something, take to the dealer, you know, pay whatever you gotta pay for, which I'm gonna share right here and call it a day. Don't drive that much with your truck doing that problem because you can have a bigger issue. Here, here's the thing, right? So a couple of things that I, I, I did to my truck and that's how you're gonna see this 
this much money I paid for, but I'm gonna give you a break now. Of course, the the, sh the transmission thing, I was due for an oil change since the truck was there. I was like, whatever, I'll pay. And also a tire rotation. Doing a tire rotation on this truck, it's so painful, but so painful because the wheels are so heavy. You need multiple jacks. So I was like, you know, if you guys can do a tire rotation and also uh, oil change, I'm fine with it. Go ahead and do it. So that's included in here. That, that, that's the thing about the dealer though. They offer you a bunch of stuff when your truck is kind of brand new. My truck's, I consider my truck new. It's a 2017 with, 40, with 45,000 miles on it. So I, I kind of consider my truck new, right? So they offer you a bunch of flushing fluids, uh, tune-ups and so on and so forth. So I did a couple things because I had a budget for it, uh, but it's not necessary if you are pretty handy, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but at the same time, I was like, this, the last time I kind of did like, uh, you know, uh, a big maintenance on my truck was a year and a half ago. So I was like, you know, I'll do a couple of things besides the oil change. First, the transmission thing. The customer states the vehicle his state while he's driving. So that's, they do this mark for themselves. So just bear with me. Please inspect and advise test drive and diagnose transmission operation. Scan for codes and if none, perform a GM Mobile One HP A TF fluid procedure. Uh, what that means? I don't know. It's a pretty technical thing, but in other words, they have to flush the fluid twice, so to make sure that the the previous fluid wasn't there anymore. Flush the trans and replace fluid twice per GM. So that's a GM GM request, right? So that procedure itself, just the labor to the flush, not include the fluid, is. $306 you can do that manually but it's gonna take you so much effort so they have a special machine for this to do the trans fluid uh, the use of that machine costs you $54 and of course if you're flush you need to put something back on so that goes twice because you are doing twice that goes six quarts so you need 12 quarts each quarts cost you $11 so it's a total of $140 just in fluid so the total amount of 499 for that transmission fix just keeping that in mind that that's if you don't need the torque converter replacement right that's just the fluid flushing you need to do twice $500 on top of that I did an oil change which cost me believe it or not an oil change on a dealership is $140 I was like I had a thousand dollars to spend that's how much I put aside to spend on this fixing I thought the, the transmission thing would be around 700. Ended up the transmission flush was less than I had budget for. So since my budget was a thousand, I had room to do something else. So they gave me the option to do the perform throttle body service, which it's a code thing and also replace some parts. So total spend was a thousand eighteen after tax. Uh, was that worth it? I don't know if I would spend the money with the throttle body thing and I, you guys know I do my own oil change but definitely I I wasn't expect to spend more money on the transmission fixing which ended up to be $500 plus, plus tax depends where you live I think the tax may vary uh, that's it that's how much you need to uh, fix your transmission I spent a little bit more because as I said I did a couple things but yes can be fixed it now where's the future uh, I have I have driven the truck for probably I don't know 200 miles. I'll keep driving, keep you guys posted. So if you want to see more information on this, make sure to subscribe. I'll keep you guys posted if you have any problems. Now the next on the list is fixing this freaking fender. Uh, I hit a vulture. Actually, the vulture hit me because <laughs> I had nothing to do and new headlights. After that, the truck's pretty much ready to go. Done, complete. Everything works, and I don't know. I might start thinking about selling it. that i'm gonna say for another video which i want to talk to you and hear you guys opinion maybe it's time to get something else uh it's time to move on my truck is brand new though which hurts but maybe somebody else can enjoy all the build everything i did to it i don't know it's still up in the air i'll keep you guys posted i'll make a video about it right make sure to subscribe i hope you guys enjoy let me know what you think sorry for this different kind of video but i think uh was important to put this out there and i hope you guys like it and subscribe and i'll see you guys next one never forget enjoy life and work hard for it